foremost, I'd like to give all honor, praise, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, also the true Holy Black Messiah, the King of Kings, royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashiach, also the final Father, the true Father, one West. This is Fallen Kings, coming right back at you yet with another lesson. Before I go farther in this lesson, a lesson 10 and 2, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which consists of the so-called black, Latinos, Native American Indians, and also um, the so also uh, Israelite foreigners that scattered abroad other nations. Because like I said before, I always like to mention this, that you're going to have Israelites that look like every nation under the sun. So it's not based off a person color, but rather the heritage of your father when you read the book, when you read um, James 1 and 1. To the USA, Shalom, and peace and blessings be unto you in the hopeful elect. So the name of this lesson is going to be, um, I'm probably going to call it America. I might call it this, this topic here in which I'm about to get into, uh, get into this topic here in a little bit as this page here on the screen, you see, um, this is by Harvard business review, but I'm going to call this lesson, uh, America decline. America is in decline, you know, and this is from Harvard law. You know, if you, if you, if you guys know anything about, the lector electoral colleges, the, these are the high enchilon colleges that's actually built by the elites, you know, like your Rockefellers, your um, your Gettys, your DuPonts, all the, um, you know, your Kennedys, so forth and so on. So these are like your high level of, uh, of um, high ranking of college institutions where all the billionaires, trillionaires either attend or sponsor. So in this article is saying that um, it's America in decline. And strange, I'm going to read here briefly. Strange is it any same, it seems a nation once celebrated for its irrepressibility, impressibility of optimism now appears to be obsessed by decline. Why? Because the Most High is ple is pledging is pl um Slakia. He's plaguing this place. When you um plaguing this place, when you when you read the history of um Egypt, that's why the scripture says um Romans chapter fifteen verse four. Let me get that real quick before I go dive right back into this. Romans chapter fifteen verse four. This is why it's so important that we that we um, learn our history and learn about the past because your past shape your future, right? You know. So let's get Romans chapter fifteen, verse four. It says, "For whatsoever things were written aforetime was uh, slacky. For whatsoever thing that were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope." So, yeah, so when you read the history of Egypt, um, before they got taken down, the Most High plagued that, plagued that nation. It was plagued before it got automatically taken down, you know, before it came with that major judgment where Pharaoh army and his, their chariots got swept away by the ocean, you know, you know, and they was held by fire at bay as well. And a lot of a lot of um, Egyptian soldiers did not make it, as well as their chiefs and and you know or what have you, their chiefs and high in command, next in command, all they didn't make it. So here here in Babylon, that's what's going to happen to this place. This place is going to be judged. But see, the, the thing here with this place, the scripture tells you how the smoke is going to go up continuously. You know. You know, the smoke is going to go up continuously, you know, but when this place be destroyed, the fire here is going to, is not going to quench, you know, because when you read the scripture, it tells you Esau is the end of the world, which is the so-called white man, and Jacob is the beginning that they follow it. So we are watching the decline of America, and that's why, um, for an example, everything is set up for a downfall, like you have this AI, right? This AI, art, 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 um, artificial intelligence. They got auto, artificial intelligence 
that is able to do people do young young children or young adults homework. So what's the point of a person going to school if you got technology to help them to do all, you know, these different things? I'm just using that for an example, even though even though the school systems here in Babylon, the history of the school systems and the economic of the school. I mean, learning of economics and learning of history and and all this other different social education, education is all for not here because America, we know. The Babylon school system is altered. They don't teach true history. They don't teach things that you really need to survive here. Like for example, they don't teach you how to pay bills. They don't teach you how the uh, how, um, they don't teach you about credit scores. They don't teach you about purchasing, you know, property or they don't teach you anything that can benefit you here in Babylon, right? So I want to just very off the topic, but I just want to just just, just want to show you, brothers and sisters, that this place is declining because. They grow weaker as well as wiser, right? You know? All right, let's get another scripture here. Let's let's get Luke chapter 16, verse 8. It says, and the Lord commanded the unjust steward because he had wise, he has done wisely for the children of this world are in, are in their generation wiser than the children of light. Now, when you read that, it's not talking about the wisdom of the most high. It's talking about this wisdom of the world. Remember, the wisdom of this world is foolishness to the most high, right? They are wise in, of this world knowledge like with technology of this world, you know? It's not saying that they smarter or 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 they wiser than 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 um um how can I put it? Like they know about the precepts of the Bible. No, it's not talking about that. It's talking about like the regular knowledge of this world, right? Like I just mentioned to you earlier with this AI of artificial intelligence where they are able to do people essays and homework, you know, without them even not even leaving the house, you know? So they are going weaker as well as wiser, you know? Um, so you're going to have here, uh, in a, we, we're going to have, a, we, we are in a failed society. Whether you want to map it out or not, this place is being judged and it's not being judged by man. It's being judged by the Heavenly Father. That's why this place, that's why you see a lot of things happening to Babylon right now because it's the most high doing this. Because this place is on its last leg, like I like this says here in the topic, is is America in decline? Yes, it is in decline. And another thing too, how you know a society is failing because of the relationship between the man and the woman. You know, when you don't, when you have no relationship with the man and the woman, you know where where you can't build a family structure. That lets you know right there that that's a failed society. Also, you know, but you know. So all these different things is leading up to World War Three, which is the final war, the war that's going to end all wars, you know. And I hope this lesson is very edifying to the hopeful elect out there. Yeah, this place is almost out of here. And um, I just want to just touch on that real quick. And so to answer your, your questions, brother and sister, the new brother, and sister listening, this place is rapidly declining. And we are living in the last days, you know, uh, whether people want to accept it, believe it or not. You know, with that, I want to give all honor, praise and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, also the true Holy Black Messiah, the King of Kings, the royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, also the fine father chief for the one of the West, it's Father Kings, glory, we get you yet one other lesson. So next lesson, I say, Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom.